Traveling around, we have found that mobile connectivity can be an issue at times. We have a hotspot that we can use sometimes, and we have the opportunity at some of the parks to go inside a clubhouse and use their Wi-Fi there. But I wanted a better solution. So I researched and researched, and I found a solution in Wi-Fi Ranger. Wi-Fi Ranger is gonna help me to grab a signal that is outside of our rig from the Wi-Fi in the park or the surrounding areas and then broadcast it inside my rig to a usable signal for all of our devices. Now in this video what I wanted to show you was how I installed it on our 2014 Atasca Soleil 38R and the solutions that I found on where to run the wiring so that I didn't have to run long antenna wiring and the solution I found was to install it up in our tech area. The way I had power options that were close by and then also access to the roof to run a short cable of wiring. I'm gonna be getting my 12 volt power for my 12 volt to 24 volt converter from the lights that are underneath the cabinet here. And to do that, I need to access the wiring that is in between the bottom of this cabinet and the bottom of this shelf. Now to get this up, there are little staples along here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this pick tool to kind of get up underneath the staple and pry it up and go around all the edges to get it up and then we'll be able to access the wiring underneath here. Access to the wiring here I'm going to be able to tap into the power side and the ground side of this with the wires from the converter what I want to do is mount the converter here up to this location so in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-drill some holes to mount this up here and take this cover off, drill a hole on the back side here so that I can run the wiring through on over to the entertainment center side. Also up in here is where I'm going to have access to the roof where I can put a hole and be able to run my cables down inside here as well. that's going to supply the 12 volts to the converter and I'm going to tie into here the power and ground for these lights up here to supply the power 
to the 12 volt to 24 volt converter. And the way that I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna mark out my wire, see how much I need here. Probably won't need all of this, so I'll clip it. Clip it right about here. decided to do so I'm going to add some spade connectors uh, some of the larger ones here to where I can strip the wire back here apply the this onto here crimp it on and then these smaller spade connectors here I'll attach and plug just be able to plug these in right there. Make a clean installation there. sticky backs to attach the wiring to the panel. I'll probably put another sticky back like right here just to keep this tight and out of the way and keep it from rattling driving down the road. And now to make a hole on this side. I'll put it back behind that plate so that I can connect into the router on the inside. Also make another hole for the antenna cable to come down. And go now for the antenna, I'm gonna drill a pilot hole from underneath and then go up on the roof to then drill out the hole big enough to put the cable through. So we're gonna install the flat mount antenna on the roof. And I chose a center location because I am going to be installing solar soon as well and I wanted to leave plenty of space for the panels up here on the roof so I'll run the cable straight back from the antenna over around the air conditioning and then down into that pilot hole that I had drilled from the inside earlier so we'll widen that hole up and be able to drop the cable in there and seal it up with some die cord. I'm going to mark the location of the holes, pre-drill them, and then clean the surface. Before I apply the die core. talk a little bit about the antenna so you'll be able to hit trees at low speeds when you're parking 
uh, and this will move quite a bit and reset itself. And I placed it in the center so that there'd be less trees that would come up and grab it as I try to avoid them down the road or when parking in certain parks. So, but it's flexible. This gives a little bit, so it'll allow it to work really nice when you're going down the road and maneuvering around the campsites. I finished the layout for where I wanted the cord to run. And what I'll do is I'll go back with sticky backs, screw them down, add a little die core on the screw heads. And that way the cable won't be flopping around. And I'll go over the top of the sticky back with some die core as well. So I'm gonna set up now to drill a hole through the roof and install the grommet and put in some decor over the top of it. cable routed from the ceiling and the roof now I can put it through the hole I made previously and route the rest of this cable through and then attach it to the router the cables are pulled in here I have them tied up the rest of it here and here to take care of the excess and then I have uh, velcro on this cable to keep it nice and tidy now the power is going to be plugged into right here and we chose to use the 12 volt so we can run it off of battery power without having to go through the inverter. Um, so we got the 12 volt to 24 volt connector right here, but we could have used the 120 volt adapter, plugged it in right back in here and ran the cable up through the hole here into there. And we can keep it as a backup Keep that right up here so that uh, in case something happens with my converter um, we could just use the 120. So we need to plug this in and allow it to power up for five minutes. Let it establish its connection and we're going to be putting the antenna goes in the PoE out connector or the terminal 5 and we'll let it initialize. And we'll go to the computer and start the setup. We also have a Verizon hotspot, the MiFi. And what we can do is we can set it to tether and plug right into the USB port on the side of the router. The quick start guide that comes with the kit is really straightforward. Gives you your password, your network, and your control panel for 
setting everything up. It's as simple as going to your device, connecting to the network for the Wi-Fi Ranger, entering in the password, going to the control panel, and it loads up the main page. There are several tabs on here to tailor to your needs, but this isn't a technical video, this is just the install video. So I recommend going on to Wi-Fi Ranger's website and uh, looking at the specific videos for setting up these tabs. That was our install video for the Wi-Fi Ranger Elite AC. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.